Welcome back. In this video, we will take a closer look at daily jots in AmpleNote and explain how they work in more detail. Let's jump into the current daily jot. And now let's type in a forward slash to bring up the slash command menu. And then let's type in link to note. This lets us create a new note and drop a link to that note at the current cursor position. I'm going to press enter to confirm. And what happened here? The newly created note appears below my daily jot, but shouldn't jots mode only show my daily jots and nothing else? Also, why is this note I just created tagged with daily jots as well? To understand what's happening here, we need to know two essential things. Number one, jots are ordinary notes. And number two, jots mode simply displays a list of notes sorted by how recently they were created. Let's go over each of these facts and prove that they are right. First, if jots and notes are the same thing, that means that I should be able to open and edit this jot individually and have all of the ordinary note options available to me. And lo and behold, if I click this note icon next to the jot's name, I can open it individually and there is actually nothing special about it when compared to any other note you might create. It has all of the same options, it can be deleted, published, archived, and so on. The other fact that we need to verify is whether Jots mode simply sorts my notes in the decreasing order of their creation date. To test that, I can create a new note, change its title to definitely not a jot, and then tag it with daily jots. And as expected, jumping back into jots mode will show this newly created note below my daily jot. And that's because jots mode simply searches for all notes tagged with daily jots and displays them in the decreasing order of their creation date. That is, most recent goes at the top. The only exception is that AmpleNote will always look for a jot that matches today's date and it will display that at the top of the list no matter what, just to keep it accessible. So far, we learned that Jots mode simply displays all notes tagged as daily jots with the most recent at the top. But is this limited to notes tagged with daily jots? As it turns out, it is not. If you click on the Jots button while already in Jots mode, this will remove the daily Jots filter that was applied. What we are looking at now is a list of all of my notes ever created, regardless of their tag, but still sorted with the most recent at the top. And now, if I go to my sidebar and select a different tag, for example my Projects tag, I will now see a sorted list of my notes tagged specifically with the projects tag. So, to answer our initial question, Jots mode is not limited to the daily Jots tag. This tag is just the default one that AmpleNote encourages you to use to group together your daily notes. But you can use any other tag you want and AmpleNote will create daily Jots under that tag for you every day. To see this in action, Let's quickly create a new tag called work jots. We can imagine using this tag to group together daily notes that relate to our work, as opposed to our personal stuff. Then let's select this tag and let's click the star icon next to its name. And just like that, now we can switch between two threads of daily jots, depending on what we are taking notes on. My daily jots can hold my personal notes, while my work jots can hold my work-related notes. In AmpleNote, jots are a special type of note that corresponds to a particular date. For a single day, you can have as many jots as you have tags, but most people use the default daily jots tag to manage and group their daily notes together.